Hey guys, this is the Anthony's and welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm in my grandpa's kitchen. Hello. And today we're gonna be making a classic we make every year around Christmas time and that is pecan tars. Isn't that right, grandpa? Yeah, that's right. It's the best thing ever. All right, got the recipe book and I'm gonna read you guys everything you need to make pecan tarts. All right, for the crust, you're gonna need an eight ounce package of cream cheese, a half cup of butter, one cup of flour, and a dash of salt. For the filling, you're gonna need one egg, two thirds cup of pecans, a three quarter cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of soft butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla. In this bowl, we have our softened cream cheese and butter. Put that in front of the microwave for about like 30 seconds. There's no adjusting. I should mention it. We did add this cup of flour into the mixer bowl when we were mixing. That's gonna go in the fridge for a little bit. It's good to chill so it can a lot easier. Here's our one egg room temperature. Just got this nice and whisked. Three quarter cup of packed brown sugar. We got a tablespoon of butter. Let's put that in for like 15 seconds. Have that in the entire 15 seconds because it started to melt, so that's good. Yeah, I did get a little melted. Yeah. Add that to our bowl of brown sugar and egg. Just kind of stir this around the egg and the brown sugar until it kind of looks like this. All right, here is our crust. We're gonna take this little cookie scoop. I only got this tray and drop that in. Look at that. Kind of repeat this process many times. Now we gotta put these down. Um, I got this thing. What do you call this? You don't know, but got it coated in flour and press this. Kind of like that, is that right? Yeah, that's, that's good, that's better than mine. All right. This is really hot, All right, we got a quarter teaspoon of these walnuts. Fill the bottom of each one. I'm so excited for these. These are gonna be absolutely delicious. And on these ones that already have the filling my grandpa put in, we're gonna put the walnuts on top of these because you double layer the walnuts. We're gonna need more of these. Are they pecans? These are pecans? Mm -hmm. No, walnuts. That's, oh right, they're pecan tarts. Oh my gosh, they're pecan tarts. All right, pecans, layer them up. Okay. 
jeez, jeez. Oh, jeez, bless me. Wow. All right. We're going to do this. 3.25 and start. All right, my grandpa's gotten the filling on these. And I'm going to fill these with the pecans. I think we're going to have to cut some more pecans. Cut some more, grind some more, whatever. Do, do, where's your thing? Over behind you. Well, you know, okay. We need a whole lot, just throw some in there. That's good. Alright. Nice, quick, and easy. These pecan tarts are honestly easier to make than I would expect. I feel like these are easier to make than the date pinwheels. Do you think they are? Oh, yeah. Um, I guess I'll divide these back and... There's more here if you want. Alright, there it says pecan tarts and they'll go in the oven shortly. And then this up here. I know. After 25 minutes in the oven, we have our pecan tarts right here in these trays sitting on the wire rack to cool. Alright, for the pecan tarts, here's how you're going to get them on the wire rack. So right here, we got this knife, butter knife, we're just going to scrape it around the edge. And then, like that, you get it out, and you place. All right, last batch of our pecan tarts are going in. All right guys, quick update. I just took out the last batch of pecan tarts out of the oven. So yeah, done baking for the day. So that's good to know. All right guys, now these are gonna be placed in the refrigerator for a little while, no specific time, just till they're cold. All right, now we gotta try my absolute favorite Christmas dessert, guys, every year, and that is pecan tarts. Look at these, they look scrum diddly umptious. They look so good. I mean, I mean, just look at these beauties. I mean, they're literally amazing. I mean, I literally cannot stop looking at them. Let's try. Mmm. So good. Mm. There's a good reason. These are my favorite. Mm. What I love about the pecan tarts, man, is they're like nice and not too sweet. They're not too salty, man. They're perfect. And I love the outer crust. It's like a good little bowl and the filling, man, with that beautiful brown sugar. And the brown sugar melts in your mouth. And then those pecans just add that perfect crunch to it and it just comes together as a beautiful melody of a, med a beautiful medley of flavors i mean oh my gosh do i even have to say it 10 out of 10 these babies are beautifully amazing i love them all right so i'm gonna put this man back in the refrigerator but i'm gonna put this second bin of the tarts in the freezer Freezing your pecan tarts is game changing. They're good refrigerated, but even better and even more leveled up.
frozen. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video on how to make pecan tarts in my grandpa's kitchen. I want to thank my grandpa so much for allowing me to be in his kitchen and no have this problem, amazing buddy. day of baking. Thank you so much. Thanks for being on camera. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, guys, peace, peace out. out.